The search is on for the author of This Message in a Bottle from Charleston, South Carolina. I want to say thanks to everyone who's been sharing the story because I really think that's the only way we're going to find them. I've found 140 messages in bottles so far, and I have to say, this one is really tricky, partly because we don't have that name. But we do know several things about this person, a lot of clues from the message that are going to help us find them. So number one, we know this person was in sixth grade in Charleston, almost definitely between about 2007 and 2013 when they sent this message in a bottle. That's partly because there's an email address here which doesn't work, but it's a Gmail address. Gmail came about in 2004, but it was invitation only until about 2007 and really took off around 2008. Uh, so that's the start date. And then 2013, I say because I found it in 2015. I've already been looking for them for 10 years. They sent this in the Gulf Stream. Well, what that means is they didn't just walk down to the ocean and send it off the coast. They had access to someone with a boat or they had a boat themselves or maybe their family did. And they got out into the Gulf Stream to send this message in a bottle. And it takes about two and a half years to go all the way around. This didn't quite go all the way around, but almost. I found it in the Caribbean. It probably took about two years uh, or maybe a little bit more than that to get there. The other crucial detail here is the name of the school. I think this person went to a school that has a name starting with the word Charleston, and I've only found four of those so far that have a sixth, sixth grade class. The four that I know are Charleston Day School, Charleston Progressive, Charleston County School of the Arts, and uh, Charleston Charter for Math and Science. So if you know any other ones, please drop them in the comments. One last thing is I'm super stoked that this is being shared in and around Charleston because this person almost definitely still has friends and family and old classmates and maybe old teachers who might remember this project. Um, but the fact is, this person's between 24 and 31 today, so they could live a thousand miles away. So sharing this from anywhere could be helpful because this person could be anywhere. Um, so anyway, just thanks again to everyone who's helping get the word out. I'm really hoping that we'll be able to find this person and let them know that their message in a bottle has been found.